I came across a method to read a book each week, and scientific studies reveal the various benefits of reading on brain function, sleep, vocabulary, general knowledge, and stress reduction. While we all acknowledge the positive impact of reading, it can be a bit challenging. Just over a year ago, I disliked reading. I was the type to rely on spark notes for English assignments rather than actually reading the book. I barely managed to read one or two books a year. Now, I have a shelf filled with books I've read, cover to cover, and stacks of notes extracted from them. To improve your reading habits, I'll apply principles from Atomic Habits. My first point is to reduce friction when establishing a habit. Making the habit as effortless as possible is the most effective way to ensure it sticks. According to Atomic Habits, we often choose the most obvious option. Watching a YouTube video on your phone is easier than getting up, grabbing a book, and going through the process of reading. To reduce friction, simply place the book in plain sight. I keep the book I'm currently reading on my desk, making it a visible and accessible reminder. Now, onto the real secret to my success, the trigger. When I began cultivating the habit of reading, I would read for 20 minutes on the same park bench before school every day. My book was in my bag, and with some extra time to spare, I started reading. Nowadays, I read for about an hour each day, and this habit is anchored by consistently reading at the same time and in the same place each morning. Another principle from Atomic Habits that aids in consistent reading is the identity shift. When building a habit, ask yourself what a person with that identity would do. By adopting the identity of a reader, your actions will align. I used to say I hated reading, then I shifted to trying to read more. However, it wasn't until I declared I am a reader that I truly started reading more consistently. Regarding my reading system, the goal is to retain what you read. Inspired by Ryan Holiday's note card system, I highlight key points in the book, ensuring they serve as cliff notes. Once done, I extract this information onto note cards, organizing them by chapter. These note cards are stored for future reference. Organizing information visually helps solidify it in my brain, ensuring I can access it when needed. Treating your brain like a computer is key. If you found value in this video, leave a like and follow. Remember to create and conquer, and I'll see you in the next one.